My name is Liam Montier from Kmar Magic, and I'm talking to you about Michael Breger's brilliant trick, Art Attack, formerly known as Masterpiece. And this is one of my favourite tricks to do close up. Um, anytime you've got a bit of table space, you're ready to go. So it's a great trick whether you're working professionally or if you're just showing tricks to friends at a restaurant or club or over Zoom. It works brilliantly uh, virtually as well. And what I love about it is the fact that it ticks all the right boxes for me in that it's completely self-working. There's no hidden sleight of hand or moves at all. Okay, There's no gaffes or gimmicks for them to find or to go wrong on you. So everything is clean and examinable at the end of the trick as well. And there's no marks or anything like that. The handling has all been whittled down to basically non-existence, <laughs> which means you get this totally baffling trick that instantly resets itself and can just live in your pocket until you want to perform it. And it's a show-stopping feature piece with a real kicker finish as well. One of those tricks where everyone thinks they see where it's going, it seems to go wrong, and then, you know, it all works out all right in the end, like all the best stories do. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at the performance. And you can see a full uncut performance of me doing Art Attack by Michael Breger. So in magic and in life in general, there are two sorts of magicians. There are card trick people, which would be me, and then there's performing artists, I'm, you know, who do performing art rather than card tricks. Um, I've never really done performing art, but I'm going to perform with some art just to break some boundaries and try some new things. So what I've got down here is my card trick with art, right? So I've got my little easel here. We're gonna uh, set that off to one side so you can keep an eye on it. And uh, inside here are the pieces of art that I'm gonna do my card trick with. In fact, they are literally pieces of art because they've been cut into four. Let's leave that envelope, that mysterious red envelope off to one side. Um, now, here are my uh, bunch of uh, postcards which I have cut up. And these are world famous paintings. You've got uh, Renoir's uh, luncheon at the boating party there. Uh, we've got Monet's Haystacks there. I think I've got those in the right order. Yeah, close enough. Uh, and then we've got a bit of Salvador Dali going on there, the persistence of memory. And also the Picasso one that sold for like $180 million or whatever it was. Um, all in postcard form, and they've all been cut into literal pieces of art. Now, if you were here and, uh, you know, it was possible, I'd have you shuffle those as well. You would give them to your spectator and your spectator would shuffle them however they liked and as much as they liked. So I, for the uh, purposes of the trick, I am now your spectator shuffling these cards very thoroughly. And now we're going to do a special type of shuffle as well. Uh, so we're going to deal all of these out. Now, obviously, you've shuffled these up. They're mixed. There's millions of possible combinations that these could all be in. Um, as we deal them out like this uh, already. There's already millions of possible combinations. But if we went to the next level and like flipped some pieces over, then the amount of possibilities becomes literally endless. Literally endless. And so, in fact, let's do that. We're going to flip over a whole bunch of these just at random to give us a starting point. So let's do that like that. Uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to do my special origami shuffle. So I want you to imagine this is one sheet of very modern art <laughs> that we've created here uh, from these pieces. And we're going to fold that sheet into a small bundle. And you're going to choose where we start from, where we fold down. And every time you fold an edge, everything's going to change. So let's say you st they start off by folding down the top half. And we're going to flip the top half over. So the orientation of them changes and the position of them changes. Uh, where would you want to fold next? From the side? That's great. So we're going to fold in from the side like this. Uh, and again, still four sides. So where do you want to fold? The same again? Yep, that's great. So we're going to fold across like this. And again, you can see all the pieces flipping and turning totally out of everyone's control. Organized chaos. We'll fold the top down like that. And then the bottom section up, for example, like this. And then we'll fold uh, this over here to give us one huge random bundle of cards like that. Let's spread those out so we can see what's going on. Obviously, no one could have predicted the order of that packet or how it was going to end up. And yet, 
In my mysterious red envelope that's been aside from the beginning, there is a postcard inside and it says there will be four pieces turned over. Well, let's see if that's right. This is piece number one and then all the way down here, piece number two, piece number three and piece number four. How weird is that? Well, that is pretty weird, but we were hoping for something even more spectacular, and let's see if it worked. Because if I turn these over, uh, we've got four, uh, four pieces. You end up, hopefully, making something quite spectacular. Uh, the luncheon at the boating... Oh! <laughs> well, that's a little bit unexpected. Uh, it's less of a masterpiece and more of a masterpiece. Uh, but strangely, everything worked out just as I had suspected. And that is Michael Breger's Art Attack.